for pride month i always celebrate pride month if i can find a picture i'll insert my nails from last year but my nails from last year ain't touching this year like these are just so cute like she did such a good job love that i'm actually i actually just got done pumping gas but i'm about to get ready to pull off because y'all know it'd be craziness going on at the gas station girl yeah y'all notice something y'all notice something new I'm gonna give y'all a few seconds to try to figure it out, okay? A few moments later. So yeah, your girl got 100 subscribers. I'm finally at 100 subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much. I know it may not seem like that big of a deal to some of y'all, but to me, that's a huge deal to start from nothing. Uh, well, technically, I didn't start from nothing because I did YouTube back in 2000. 17 18 y'all know about that and i had like a few subscribers from then but for some reason like as soon as i got back on youtube a lot of my subscribers just went away like a lot of people just unsubscribed to me from back then for whatever reason so i did start from the bottom so to just have that's just like to hit 100 subscribers that's a huge milestone for me so i just want to thank all of you for subscribing um we are going to continue to grow and y'all already know i got the giveaway in place so y'all know that i'm always crying about how my content videos don't do as well as my vlogs so i'm going to do a content video this month and i'm not going to tell y'all which one y'all just gotta watch so I'm gonna do a content video this month. The items that I talk about in the content video, I will be putting them in a basket and that's what I'll be giving away. I'm not gonna tell y'all what it is. I don't want y'all to know what the video is gonna be about. And then I'll also be announcing the winner of the giveaway in that content. Hold on, y'all gotta turn my air up because it's hot. I'll also be announcing the winner of my 100 subscriber giveaway in that video so y'all gotta make sure y'all paying attention to my content videos this month all i want you to do is just be subscribed and comment down below what was your favorite content video and why i feel like content videos you just like as a content creator you put a lot of effort into content videos and because you don't really have that fan base yet sometimes your content videos don't do as good like you put the most effort into them and those are the ones that don't do the best so i want to know what was your favorite content video i want y'all to go back if you haven't go watch all of my content videos if you don't know what a content video is any video that's not a vlog so any video that you see on my channel that is not a vlog that is a content video so i want you guys to go back or if you already know your favorite one just comment down below that's also helping me out so that i can understand what type of content you guys like so i can continue to post that type of content this is a help me help you situation girl i thoroughly thought about this giveaway because y'all know i've been wanting these 100 for ever so i already have my giveaway in my head like i was already ready so in order to enter the giveaway you have to be subscribed and you have to comment down below what was your favorite content video and why and i'll also leave the details on how to enter i mean it's real simple i will leave the instructions to the giveaway in the description box just in case you're unclear or whatever you need to go back and reference but yes i'm so excited thank you guys so much for 100 next up 200 it's like i'm not just talking to myself no 
no more like when you first start youtube it's like the most awkwardest thing ever because you feel like you're just talking to yourself but now i know that there are a hundred people out there that i am talking to so it's a little less awkward it makes me feel a lot more comfortable on camera come on now yeah i'm finna pick up Bea. i did get off work like extremely early i only went in for a few hours this morning got my nails done got gas and i'm finna go pick Bea up i already know she's gonna be hungry so i'm gonna take her to get something to eat and then i'm gonna go home and like clean up the house is really a mess right now so i'm about to go home clean up get my life together um i don't really have any plans this weekend just simply because baby it's the first of the month but no, we do have to go grocery shopping. So I know we're gonna do that for sure. Other than that, like I have no plans this weekend and that's fine with me because um, it's just too much going on in the world. I really don't even feel like going anywhere. So Bea has entered the chat. Say hey, Booba. Hey. What? Child, she said she want McDonald's. This girl, love. I told y'all, McDonald's got her the choco. So I'm gonna go get my baby some McDonald's. Well, by the time this vlog goes out, that video will already be up. So if you haven't already, go check out um, our Get Ready. Well, for my channel, we did a Get Ready With Me for Content Day. And then for Morgan's channel, we did a, um, like a, kind of like a vlog. It was like a content creator link up vlog of uh, everything that we did. So we had two different types of, and I love that about me and Morgan. Like me and Morgan are two separate like we have two separate types of vibes we have two separate types of styles and we still connect we have two different totally two different things going on and by the time this video goes up y'all already see so i actually took professional photos because i am going to be announcing tomorrow um that i am turning melanin every month into a nonprofit. um and then morgan took her photos you know just like content photos we went to a parking garage it was really cute i'm not gonna give away all the deeds y'all just need to go check out the video i will leave the link in the description box to her video and then um if you haven't already go check out our get ready with me collab that was just really cute so we just had like two different vibes going on but we still were able to like come together and make it a content day so tomorrow it'll be a year so that's why i'm going to announce it for my year anniversary so yeah it's been a year now that i've had melanin every month and i think so if you guys don't know melanin every month um it's just something that i created to uplift inspire and educate and you, if you guys go to my instagram go follow my business page on instagram at melanin every month you'll see that i post like black history facts inspirational quotes and i also sell t-shirts and notebooks i also added earrings it was a business but around like February-ish, I kind of just, I'm not gonna, like I, I never had any bad experiences. I'm gonna talk about it in a separate video. I never had any bad experience as a business owner. I actually had great vibes, met great people, um, you know, my pop-up shop, stuff like that. But I just found that I enjoy, I like the side of helping and educating and inspiring more than I like the business side. Um, I feel more passionate about that promoting like hey come buy a t-shirt come buy some earrings like i just that's just not my thing being a business owner promoting my products like that's just not my thing i get more excited when it's time to post black history facts or when it's time to post things like inspiring things or when it's time to give praise i do the melanin every month must see where i kind of give you know praise to anybody that's black that's doing any black excellence like if you're black if you're a good youtuber or you have a great business or just regardless like it doesn't matter rappers um any anybody that i see that is black and that is doing something really good um you know i just shout them out like just black excellence and i enjoy doing that more than i enjoy the business side so i did decide that i you know i want to start my journey into making melanin every month a nonprofit. now obviously there's a lot of things that goes into that so i've just been like doing my research i spoke with some people and i was a part of a nonprofit before it was called grace girls rising above common expectations so i do have nonprofit background so i know a lot about what goes into a nonprofit, and it is a lot and that's what i've been working on all this time so yeah i'm just super excited to announce that 
this is gonna be a whole nother step and of just like I don't know my journey I would have never thought and I'm grateful like I'm grateful for the process because had I never started mailing it every month as a business I would have never known that I feel more passionate about being a nonprofit. I don't want to help behind my phone I want to get active like I want to really get get out here in the community and make a difference so that's what we about to do girl and i'm super excited to announce it i took some pictures those pictures will be on my website um because i am going to have to reconstruct my website but obviously um when it comes down to a nonprofit, like i said i'm gonna do a separate video about all of this stuff you know just for people that's that probably wants to start a nonprofit or want to start a business i'm gonna just go over like all of my everything that i learned once i get to that point but i do have to have a board so right now we're in the process of like curating a board that fits you know the description people that are going to be dedicated to this a nonprofit can become a full-time job you know as an influencer morgan has to you know she want to take pictures she want to look cute and take nice aesthetically pleasing pictures and that's what she did so i'm ready for her to drop so it's just giving you know um versatility giving the girls we not playing about our dreams that's just all that it is i'm proud of us for continuing our content days we actually did plan our content for the month we did it virtually and it's going to be some really really cute things going on happy sunday so today is sunday well it's sunday night at this point and i kind of just wind it down as you guys can see but today has been very eventful we really just chill but let me tell y'all i honestly wanted to pick up the vlog earlier but i didn't because i just hate the bash companies but this was just ridiculous one thing about me i love steak and i love seafood so i guess i'm a surf and turf kind of girl but he was like you want some steak and eggs and pancakes for breakfast so i was like sure so we had ended up ordering ihop and we ordered the steak and egg combo um it comes with steak eggs pancakes all of that hash browns and so of course you know we eat our steak well done when the food got here the meat was literally red on the inside like it looked like they didn't even it looked like they just dropped it they just dropped it on the pan and just picked it right back up like it was literally red like literally still bleeding on the inside I got on the phone with doordash um they was like okay well we could just replace the meal so i'm like okay cool they replaced the meal but we got the meal the second time and it was still messed up so i called them back again i'm like our meal is still messed up but it was like okay well we can give you a doordash credit you know it was just like a really really big run around and i mean i can't really complain because like ordering food from doordash already comes with so many risks so i guess that's just on us but at the same time it's just like it really makes you just not want to order food at all because people just really don't care like they just literally do not care like we put well done on our order twice and y'all still gave us uncooked meat it was just a really really bad experience so that was horrible but we did end up going to the grocery store and kind of getting everything that we needed for the week so this week i am for sure for sure sticking to my meal plan not much has changed since i made my what i eat in a day but for breakfast, because I really don't be having time to cook breakfast. I want to, I really want to get up early enough to cook breakfast, but I just know like if I can't, then I still want to have another option. So I got the kind protein breakfast bars. Those are really good. And I'm going to eat those with my non-dairy yogurt. And then for lunch, I'm going to have um, tuna salad and celery. And then for dinner, I have my meal preps. Let's just hope that we stick to that. But before I close out the vlog, I did want to show you guys some things because like I said, I am going to stick my meal plan this week, but I really want to 
um, incorporate, you know, just healthier things. And I found some healthier things that I wanted to go ahead and tell y'all about. My sister put me onto this girl. I ordered this tea. Her company is called Goddess Collection. And she basically has like, she does basically like herbal tea. She's like a herbal type of girl. She basically gives you like a little pamphlet with like a food list of things that you should eat, like non-inflammatory foods, different like little health advice. Like she has health advice for how to gain weight. She has health advice for how to lose weight naturally. She has different types of teas. Blood purifier, that's what I got. And it's an anti-inflammatory type of tea. This is how it comes. It comes in like in a little jar. It says, has the name of the tea on it. You have to strain this type of tea. I didn't have a tea strainer. I just used like a hand strainer to get all of the stuff out, but this is my tea. She was just saying that it's best to just let it be room temperature before you drink it, so I'm gonna let it cool down. I think you guys should go check her out if you're trying to get on like your little health kick. I will leave the link to her website in the description box, but yeah, y'all go check her out. Another thing that I'm going to take before I go to bed is this Health Aid Kombucha. Um, I got this a little while ago from Target. They sell it at Target. I really don't even know what it's, this is in the flavor of bubbly rose. I, I mean, I honestly, I can't, I could just be real with y'all. I didn't really do too much research on the kombucha other than the fact that it's supposed to be healthy for you. Aaliyah said that basically when you take it at night, um, it just makes your stomach flat in the morning. Like, I don't really know what it does. I really didn't do too much research on it, which is bad, but I was sold when she said you take it at night and it makes your stomach flat in the morning. So yeah so if you're interested in those items like i said i will leave the link in the description box yeah i have to finish editing this video and then i'm gonna go to bed so yeah that's gonna be the end of this vlog thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for 100 subscribers again i really appreciate y'all and i will see y'all in the next one bye